The following tutorial is brought to you by WholeLoops.com. It's production time. I'm Reed Stefan, realist puppet in the game. Today, we're talking about how to mix a Trap Nation vocal. The example that I got pulled up is a track that I recorded and mixed by Far Out featuring Kara called On My Own. And we're gonna run through the session and build it from the ground up in a way that's really gonna help the vocals compete with the very loud and very electronic sounding dubstep beat behind it. So let's go ahead and get into our first plugin. And that is of course gonna be Auto-Tune. Because Kara is singing over some really electronic music, we're gonna be pulling up Auto-Tune with a pretty high setting. And the song is in E, major so i'm just going to select the scale and just bump it up a little bit from the default setting and that's really all we're going to do in this song really the default position for auto-tune is an amazing spot for vocals like this the next thing that we're going to want to do is get rid of some of the harsh sibilance in the recordings and we're just going to use the good old-fashioned waves de and we're just going to run it so we can start seeing it hit between uh, between about here and here consistently when we see an S. That's about good. And we lost a little bit of the brightness of the recording because of this process, but that's not a problem because we're going to bring that back out later in our tutorial. The next plugin that I'm going to want to do is in the Dynamics menu and this is one of my favorite vocal compressors ever, and it also happens to be one of the cheapest, and that is Arvox. And this is super awesome because you could just pull this down to kind of say, I want this much compression, and then just bring this back to make up for the increase of volume that you get. So we're gonna hit this. I see through the light, no more disguise. The scenery is crashing down to let all the truth be found. Yeah. Didn't belong, had to move on. The next thing that I'm going to want to add is some multi band compression. So we're going to go in and really compress the lows. Let's go to the next part here and make ourselves a little playback loop. Open my eyes and see. I love the beauty in front of me. Now I want to add a little bit of that high end back in with this one right here. Eyes and see. I love the beauty in front of me, giving back all the energy that I never felt, I never felt before. Let's get a little slower attack now. Open my eyes and see. Here on the top. I love the beauty in front of me, giving. We're gonna boost up the gain here on this. Uh, I mid. Kind of make up for how much we're losing. I also like to solo the lead and just kind of figure out where it's sitting. Or at least where the harshness is located. I'd say we really only have kind of harshness from this range. Open my eyes and see I love the beauty In front of me giving back All the energy that I never felt I never felt before Open my eyes and see I can even pull, do like a little low shelf action right here with this Open my eyes and see I love the beauty In front of me giving back All the energy that I Open my eyes and see. Now this is sounding a lot nicer, but let's move on to our next plugin. And that's going to be an EQ that's going to perform a little high and low pass filtering. And for that, I'm going to pull up the SSL E channel strip. I'm going to do the UAD one. I got some UAD boxes plugged into my computer and it's going to help with the CPU work. So I'm just going to choose this one. They all sound really similar. I see through the light. No more disguise The scenery is crashing down To let all the truth be found 
And now we're doing a low cut at around 70 and a high cut at around 15 kilohertz. And that's all I'm gonna do here inside the SSLE channel. Now we're just gonna continue on to a little bit more brightening and that is another favorite of mine, the Puig Tech EQ. And this has a really great mid boost um, that almost sounds like compression. I like to use kind of a medium on the bandwidth and then just boost this. Beyond the light of society that we're killing me quietly now I found myself, I found myself a home. And you can also add a lot of power to the vocal by switching this all the way down here and cutting out a whole bunch of it, but then also boosting some of it back. I don't know, kind of adds like almost like you're compressing the low end of the vocal recording. Let's go ahead and let add one last version of the same plugin and we're going to do the same thing but for brightness. So I'm going to switch this knob over to here and just disengage what we're doing to the low end. Beyond the light of society that we're killing me quietly now I found myself, I found myself a home out on my Another little spike around 100 attenuating and boosting adds a really nice controlled low end to the voice too. Is your sample collection lacking organic tropical flavor? Do you struggle to find the perfect sounds for your next summertime smash? Introducing Hot Tropics 3, the treasure chest of organic drums, loops, and samples that will turn your Latin beats into tropical heat. Hot Tropics 3 is available now only at Holoops.com. Let's move on to all the channels down here. I like using the Brainworks EQ. I don't know, it just sounds good to me, especially on vocals. And we're just going to use this to do a little uh, low cutting. We're going to do all these background vocals low cut at, at around. 12,200 and we're going to do steep filters too and all you got to do is just copy this down to all the other channels and this is going to take all of our background vocals and make them a little bit thinner all right now the next thing that we're going to do is create some auxes so I'm just going to click right here on my beat channel and go to the new track menu and we're going to create two mono aux inputs and then we'll make six stereo ones because we're gonna need two for our lead and let's do aux and aux create all right the first two we're gonna assign to bus one I like sending my lead vocal, vocal. Whoops. whoops whoops not, not interface, interface one, one. Bus, bus one I like sending my vocal to bus one and sending the lead to three four I just kind of my mental order of priority when I'm mixing so let's pull up some more compression the Pro Tools factory BF 76 is just a beast of a compressor in fact sometimes it gets even a little bit more disrespectful than the waves and the UAD one which is why I'm using it for today's vocal and as you could see I just held shift and engaged all these buttons we're doing the slowest attack fastest release possible and we're leaving the input all the way up and the output just where it's at and this is going to come out pretty loud so I'm just going to back off the volume a little bit and we're going to pull up another favorite vocal compressor of mine and that is the L2 and we're going to do something again very disrespectful like this and then just pull back the volume a little bit to compensate and let's make the same parallel compressors for our background vocals. However, we need to do these on a new bus. So we'll do three, four for our background vocals. Actually, something I love about Pro Tools is it lets you rename your buses, which makes for very clean and organized looking vocal templates. 
Boom. Let's set up our BF76 stereo for our background vocals. Same thing, just hold shift, turn them all on, and let's do an L2. Because it sounds good. Boom. Just smashing these. All right. Let's bring the volume down on this. I like to keep them about minus 10 compared to the wet signal. Let's go give this a listen now. The energy that I never felt, I never felt before. Beyond the lights of society. As you can see, we just set up some very disrespectful parallel compression for our leads and our background vocals. The next thing that we're going to set up is really going to add the vibe to this recording, and that is going to be a reverb chain. And if you're mixing electronic vocals, you're probably going to want to pull up Valhalla Room. It's kind of just the reverb of electronic music, and we're going to do a long, lush reverb, and we're also going to crank up the mod rate a little bit and the mod depth a little bit because modulation is really, really the sauce on reverbs. Let's assign this to a bus, 5.6. We'll rename it Reverb Bus. And let's go ahead and send all of our vocals to a reverb bus. I like to send my lead vocal at about minus five and then the rest of them I'll send at full volume and copy it on down. Let's give our vocal listen through Valhalla Room. My spirit's awake, I don't feel the shame So many people here But somehow they disappear Let's also crank up pre-delay. Cause all that I trust to come all to death But finally I can breathe Open my eyes and see I love the beauty in front of me Giving back all the energy that I never felt I never felt before To help the reverb sound just a little bit cleaner I'm going to drop a de going into it, and that's going to help the uh, S not turn into a kind of just a bunch of white noise and hissing, triggering a reverb, and that's kind of never a good look. So I like to do a little extra de on the reverb trigger. See through the light, no more disguise. That way the reverb is really just the vowels and not the consonants, and that's what you want. The other thing that I'm going to do to help this sound a little bit more gritty going into the reverb is grab this fantastic lo-fi plugin that Pro Tools has, crank up some noise, crank up some distortion, and pull down the See through the light, no more disguise. The scenery is crashing down to let all the truth be found. Then we could pull that back down about minus four now, because when we increase the distortion, we increase the volume a little bit. Let's also set up another reverb. We can use the same bus assignment, but this one's gonna be more of a short reverb that you don't even notice. And we're gonna use another Pro Tools only plugin, Dverb. And this very first preset up here, Ambience Bright. There's something really special about this preset. See through the light, no more disguise. The scenery is crashing down. To let all the truth be found It just pops out a little bit when you turn the reverb on Didn't be long, had to move on To somewhere that I could be Open my eyes and see I love the beauty In front of me giving back all The energy that I never felt I never felt before all right, so now we've got a long reverb, a short reverb. Let's go ahead and start with some of our delays. I'm gonna create a new bus assignment. Let's rename it delays. 
and let's make another delays bus. For our first delay bus, I'm going to grab my favorite H delay. Now, this is my favorite for a couple reasons. One, it's got modulation controls, and if you remember from Valhalla Room, modulation is the sauce. Two, it's got lo fi, and lo fi is also the sauce. So let's go ahead and add a little bit of detune to our delays. So this is kind of like your detune amount, and this is the speed that it wobbles at. So I'm going to pick kind of a medium amount, and a low cut always comes in handy, and a little high cut too. I want my delays to be slow, half note delays, and ping pong just makes your vocal sound huge. Even though it's still the same half note delay, something about ping pong helps it just sound way bigger. So these tend to be my go-to settings for my half note delays. Now let's go ahead and set up a send for all these tracks to be triggered by our half note delays. And again, I'm gonna take the lead, pull it back about five, and then for the rest of them, we're just going to send it at full blast. Let's give this a listen through some delays. I see through the light, no more disguise. The scenery is crashing down to let all the truth be found. Didn't belong, had to move on. Somewhere that I could be. Much, much better, but these are a little bit dry sounding, especially because our lead is so lush with effects. So we're going to kind of moisten these delays up with a little bit of modulation. And the modulation of choice is going to be the Studio D chorus going into our, let's call this our half note delay channel. The delays already are just going to have a little bit of chorus on them. So let's see what this adds. I see through the light, no more disguise. The scenery is crashing down to let all the truth be found. They're already much, much more tucked and maybe one more little uh, reverb on there just to help them not be so dry. And we can just take the default deverb. I see through the light, no more disguise. The scenery is crashing down to let all the truth be found. Didn't belong, had to move on to somewhere that I could be. Open my eyes and see. Alright, let's create one more delay. We can just copy H delay down since we're going to use it anyways. And I really like to do a 16th note triplet over tracks that don't even really have a triplet rhythm because it's a great place for the slap delays to hit that's not going to be over any of the lyrics because you know rhythmically it's not going to line up with anything that it's doing. So because we're doing these slap delays, we don't really need a very high feedback, but we do need a high uh, frequency kind of presence. So we're going to turn this knob back up a little bit. Let's also pull off the analog on both of these. Kind of an unnecessary hissing noise in my opinion. I see through the light, no more disguise. And let's just pull this back now. The scenery is crashing down to let all the truth be found. And to help these sound a little bit more ratchet, I'm going to pull up that lo-fi plugin again. And we're going to give this some distortion. See through the light, no more disguise. The scenery is crashing down. I love that. Let all the truth be found. Let me turn this down a little bit. Didn't be long, had to move on. To somewhere that I could be. Open my eyes and see. I love the. I just gave the half note delays a little bit more juice. Let's call this slap. Boom. So we have two different delays rocking, two different reverbs rocking. It kind of tends to be a little bit much while the lyrics are going, in my opinion. And there is a very simple solution to that. And that is to just pull up yourself a compressor right here on the channel. I like to use the R compressor. I find it to be kind of like the smooth 
uh, brother to the RVox compressor. And we're going to tell this to get its trigger from our lead vocal. Because when the lead is going, I don't want the delays quite as loud. I want the delays to fill the gaps between the lyrics. So let's see what goes on. See through the light, no more disguise. The scenery is crashing down to let all the truth be found. Didn't be long, had to move on. So now we are ducking the volume of the ping pong delays. So we could just take this compressor and copy it onto our long reverb. Because I kind of want to do the same thing, but maybe just back off of it a little bit. I see through the light, no more disguise. The scenery is crashing down to let all the truth be found. Didn't be long, had to move on To somewhere that I could be Open my eyes and see I love the beauty in front of me Giving back all the energy that I never felt I never felt before Normally wouldn't run our uh, delays and reverb so high, but because of our little sidechain compressor, we're able to get away with it. And we've got a couple compressors, multi-band compression and parallel compression, helping Kara's voice cut through Far Out's melodic dubstep production. So there you have it. This concludes my how to mix a Trap Nation vocal. I hope you found some of the tips and tricks in this tutorial useful, and if you'd like to see more acapella mixing tutorials in Pro Tools, Ableton, and Logic, I'll be putting some links into the description below. If you'd like to check out the finished track, there'll also be a link to that there. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll catch you next time with another tutorial. Peace out.